Hello, my friend. I've got Polished Golden Snitch and Wistonia 315. I started with American Classic starting over as my base coat. And here is this crazy polish, Golden Snitch by Polish. It's crazy. It's a beautiful gold, full coverage polish. It's insane. It's got micro holographic glitters in it that you can't just see all the time, but when you do, they jump out at you hard. They are gorgeous. You can kind of see them on the brush. Oh my goodness. I had no idea what I was missing. Cannot believe I have not worn this. Hi Woody, how you doing? So that is the first coat of Golden Snitch, and now I'm gonna go in with the second coat. And this is gonna be full coverage right here on the second coat. It's crazy gorgeous, and the formula is fantastic. Two coats, no mess. Of course, I'm, you know, I've had to smudge it on the end there. I'm gonna to try to straighten that out. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And look, my camera now that I've come back is not wanting to focus on it. It is so bling wow. Woo! I am capping my free edge there. This one's insane. Can't believe I put it on all of them. So here's my swatch photo of the polish on its own. Here is Wistonia W315. And I'm going to use this blurry image right here. It's kind of like raindrops or splash drops. I'll be using my Queen Stamper and Scraper that my friend Shannon sent me. And Beauty Big Bang Black. And this Crayola Sally Hansen and Dry and Big Dip O Ruby. I just had to. I'll be applying this Pro FX Sticky Base to my nails that I'm stamping on. A very thin dry brush kind of layer. I did wear the Golden Snitch all on its own one day, so I knew there was no tacky left of that. And now we're going to go in with the black and do our stamping. And I'm only going to stamp three nails today. I'm going to do my thumb, ring, and middle finger. There we go. It really looks good, just the black, and I should have just left it like that in hindsight. But, you know, I have a lot of hindsight moments, and it's because I do so many manicures. I just really thought that maybe having that black would make this big dip a ruby pop. And it looks good, but I really preferred it better with just the black stamping. But I could not help myself, y'all. I was playing, and when I get to playing, I just play. I play hard. I don't want I don't want to stop. I want to keep stamping and keep playing. Any of y'all like that? You just get going and you just don't want to stop? There we go. And this little coin stamper works really well. This is one of those that you can get from Walmart. I have my friend Chase to thank, thank for reminding me I had one. He broke out his and used it. It was new and it reminded me that I had a brand new one that my friend Shannon had sent me. Thank you, Shannon. So there we go. We're going to get that double layered stamping on that one. I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and clean up this excess off of my fingers. And since I've remembered the Burt's Bees, it's coming up quite well. I hope I always remember that Burt's Bees because it's magical. Plus, it's good for my cuticles and stuff. I am going to drop in here with just a tiny bit of acetone cleanup. Just because I'm a ninny, and you guys know this. Y'all know what a ninny I am. But I'd rather clean up in the beginning than the, you know, than wait a day or two. I just can't, I can't stand to look at it. I am going to top this one off with Posh Top Coat. Like I've said before, to me this is where the magic happens, especially when you're stamping with black. And you can still see that black under there, so it just brings it to life. And after I was done, this kind of looked like some kind of like cheetah pattern or something didn't really look like raindrops anymore. It looks more animal print to me. Hi, Woody. Being a busy fella today, aren't you? He is so busy. I'm thinking about giving him a raise. What do you guys think? Look, going in for the other end, too. Oh, yeah. So there we go. There is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time... Be good to yourself.